actually unfortunately uh, got quite badly assaulted when I was at university and uh, I was later diagnosed with post post traumatic stress disorder. Um, I think for me that kind of manifested in uh, a lot of depression, um, a lot of anxiety, and and it kind of just went from there really. I'm, I wasn't the biggest talker. Um, definitely never wanted to speak about any kind of anxieties or, or any any struggles that I had. Um, and I guess after I finished university, it, it definitely went really quite downhill after that. Um, it started really affecting my cricket and affecting my life in, in a lot of different ways and it's probably only in the last kind of year couple of years or so that I've really started to open up about it and felt comfortable to speaking about it and that's that for me has probably been the biggest difference I, I quit cricket for a couple of years and when I decided that I wanted to start playing cricket again I really struggled with kind of changing people's perceptions of me um I think people in and around cricket have always, had always seen me as being someone that that didn't take it very seriously, was quite lazy, um, made a lot of mistakes, kind of uh, just wanted to go out and have fun instead of knuckling down. And um, that's a perception that I really wanted to change. And I, I really struggled to change that. And I really struggled with the fact that that people might not see me in a very serious light anymore. And they might might not take me seriously as a cricketer and or as a person. I played in the Super League and... Um, I did really enjoy it. We had a good team. We won it that year. So I was with the Vi Southern Vipers then and we won the first year a bit. And then I kind of went from this massive high of um, playing cricket, playing on TV and having a lot of attention and, you know, getting paid to do it and enjoying it, living with living with my friends to then, I then went and lived back at home and I was unemployed. Um, I was living with my mum in the middle of nowhere. I couldn't drive and that was probably the lowest I've been, I would say um couldn't couldn't really get off the sofa I was probably sleeping for kind of 12 13 hours a day but then getting up and then just feeling absolutely shattered and then all I could really do was go and lie on the sofa and watch telly um I couldn't definitely couldn't work um yeah that was that was pretty low you know you'll go from obviously the high of winning to then the low of losing or not playing very well and it, it's quite extreme in sport and I think if you're maybe not the most mentally stable person anyway that's that's something that could be a real struggle and that's definitely something that I struggled with a lot um for, for me it was more the being in the summer and playing with all your friends and even if we weren't winning I was still being sociable playing with my friends doing what I loved and then in the winter really really struggling with with not doing that but I think in other ways it's probably saved me in a lot of ways um you know, it's, uh, now I'm in a slightly better place. I can kind of com compartmentalise things a little bit more and kind of kind of switch off from cricket a little bit more when I'm not there. And that's been quite a big thing for me. Um, so, yeah, in, in some ways it was really difficult and it really, uh, really affected my mental health. But then in some ways in the last couple of years, it's it's really helped it. Um, so I guess it's just the way that you use it. I think for me, the main thing is I, I need to, speak as much as possible you know I know that I'm always going to struggle a little bit in the winter and there's always going to be times of year that or just times in general that I struggle and for me it's just the whole being honest about it being open about it talking to my teammates talking to my coach um we've got a sports psychologist at Storm who who I speak to quite a lot as well and and obviously the help that I've had through the PCA has been or the Peace Professional Cricketers Trust as well has been absolutely massive for me and that's that's been the main thing really is just the, the speaking about it and being open and as honest as possible I've kind of tried to speak about it a little bit before and got I've been to the NHS I was on um antidepressants quite a while um which helped I guess in a way but it wasn't really the it wasn't going to be sustainable I didn't want to be on antidepressants for the rest of my life I thought I, there was a lot of points that I thought that I would be and that was just what was going to happen but I knew deep down I think I knew that I'd, I'd, that's not the way I wanted to be um you know there are people that that do need that and that's fine but I, I just didn't I didn't want that I didn't want to rely on them it's something that I, I've kind of openly admitted I guess is that it for me it has it saved my life I, I can definitely admit that it has saved my life um you know not in terms of the, the way that I feel about myself now and the way that I view myself is is totally different to how it used to be and yeah, it's, it's definitely saved and changed my life, so.